There's plastic in the world's oceans. This is not news. This marine plastic comes in various sizes, ranging from large, bulky pieces of plastic to toxic microparticles that we cannot see with our naked eye. These microplastics come from things like our laundry. This plastic is also found across the layers of the waters in the oceans, right from the surface all the way to the sea floor. All through the height of the water bodies, there's pieces of plastic floating which often confuse marine animals and animals of all shapes and sizes consume these pieces of plastic in the ocean. While microplastics could arguably be much more dangerous in the longer term for the larger part of the marine ecosystem, we pay a lot of attention to plastic that floats on the surface because we can see its immediate impact. Plastic bags have been found inside the stomachs of, say, dead whales that have starved. And, of course, bazillion straws that have been found inside all possible animals and birds associated with the sea. So how much plastic is actually floating in our oceans? Turns out, now we have an exact estimate in numbers. An established nonprofit called the Five Gyres Institute, which aims to tackle plastic waste around the world and increase awareness about it, has performed a global ocean estimate in the form of a study of how many pieces of plastic individually are floating in the seas. Their estimate yielded a number, a minimum of 170 trillion pieces. These numbers in trillions are hard to visualize. In general, we struggle to understand the scales of numbers beyond about a million. For context, a thousand seconds is about 16 minutes. A million seconds is 12 days. A billion seconds is 31 years. And a trillion seconds is three centuries. That's the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire and national deaths. And that is the scale of plastic debris on the ocean's surface. And this is just the surface. 170 trillion pieces of plastic on the surface weighs about 2 million metric tons. That's estimated to be about twice the weight of the Titanic. It is thought that by the year 2040, plastic will outweigh fish in the oceans. These findings were published in a new peer-reviewed paper that calls for urgent action to combat this crisis. The Five Gyres Institute has been conducting studies like this since 2009, working with several citizen scientists as well and conducting many expeditions in the oceans, especially to gyres. Gyres, as the Institute's name might suggest, play a major role in ocean surface plastic. Gyres are circular ocean current systems that are formed due to wind patterns and the rotation of the planet. They are necessary to circulate the ocean water and temperature across the planet and in the process also move nutrients and salts. The gyres themselves are large patches of stationary and calm waters surrounded by swirling waters. Floating bits of trash get pulled into gyres and these pieces of trash accumulate here for years and decades. The Indian Ocean, the North Atlantic Ocean and the North Pacific Ocean all have these large garbage patches. The largest one is the one in the North Pacific Ocean and it is often called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. In these garbage patches, these pieces of plastic break down into further smaller pieces of plastic and eventually microplastics. These bits of microplastic poison algae and plankton which in turn travel up the food chain poisoning animals of various sizes throughout the ocean. And everything that we just discussed in this video still has only to do with the surface of the ocean, not the rest of the entire depth of these seas. We all know this plastic everywhere and it is clogging up our oceans. We are not even talking about land. But this is not something that we can afford to forget because the long-term effects of this kind of plastic accumulation in our environment are yet to be seen. 
We are the experimental population. These findings of the weight of floating plastic are significant in tracking our impact on our planet and such scary alarming numbers indicate even more the urgency with which we need to take action.